Hey guys and welcome. Today we are going to see how to use link and append options in Blender. Link and append are the two important options which Blender gives to share the data between two Blender files. These two options are very useful if you are sharing the work among your team members to achieve greater productivity. With link and append options, we can share parameters like brush, camera, freestyle line style, lamp, mesh, object, scene, texture, and world from one Blender file to another Blender file. Now let us see how to link two Blender files. Open a new Blender session, delete the default cube, and add a plane. You can scale it whatever you want and add a sphere and translate it to direction. Okay, this is the Blender file which I would like to save it as example. Okay, now. Now, I'll open a new Blender file. Okay, let me translate in J direction and one more translation in Y direction. Now go to file, link, then go to the directory which you have saved example.blend. Click on that. It will show you all the parameters which you can share from this file to the other file. So I would like to select object. In that, I would like to select plane and sphere to take it to my new Blender file. Now, link from the library. So now if you see, so what are the shared objects from the previous Blender file are surrounded with blue line. Which means, we cannot edit them here. We can only edit them in their parent file. Let us save this file as link.blend. Now, go back and open the parent file example.blend. Now pick up the sphere, go to edit mode, and pick up some faces, extrude them for some distance. Now let us save this file. Now open the link.blend file and you can see that the sphere is updated. So whatever editing we have done in the parent file, it got updated in the link.blend file. So this is how we can use the link option in Blender. Let's see what is append option in Blender. Append is also similar to link. We can share all the parameters between two Blender files which link can transfer. The only difference between the two is with append, we can edit the shared parameters in new Blender file without modifying the parent. Let's see how to do that. Open a new Blender file. Go to File. Click on Append. Select the directory where we have saved example.blend. Go to Objects. Select Plane and Sphere. And click on Append from Library. This brings the selected objects to the new Blender file. These objects are surrounded with orange color boundary. That means we can edit them here in new Blender file without changing the parent. Let's select the sphere and go to edit mode. And change the shape of the sphere as you like. And now save the file as append.blend. Now open the parent Blender file example.blend. You can see the shape of the sphere is unaltered. That means whatever changes we made in append.blender file is not affected the parent file. 
Now this is how we can use append option in Blender. That's it for today. Please subscribe for more videos.